DJ Legal, we're back here and I want to ask you about uh, Big Juke, you know, the brother of uh, rapper Joe Gatti. I heard he got killed outside a funeral in Memphis, in his hometown. That's what I heard. Yeah, um, it's all over the news. Um, it's all over the web. The web is kind of hot right now. You know, everybody's saying that that's um, related to the death of Young Dolph. He was also a Memphis rapper. Um, he had a label called Pre, I think. He has an artist called Key Glock. And um, apparently him and Yo Gotti had like some type of beef over a female. And um, it kind of got, it spelled out into the streets, you know, entourages of both. And I guess somebody took it upon their side to go further. And um, Young Dolph was killed at a famous cookie place in Memphis. How old was he? Um, that I'm not sure, but I believe he was in his um, mid-30s, late 30s. Wow, that's crazy. Yes, yeah, so everybody's pretty much saying that it's kind of related to that situation. Like, you know, the death of Big Juke was in retaliation due to the death of um, Young Dolph. So, yo, Gotti's in kind of in hot water right now. You know, the feds and the local police, hip-hop police, and these bloggers don't help. You know, the bloggers don't help, and all of this internet stuff doesn't help because it really just adds, like, um, circumstance to the situation. So, yeah, everybody's talking about that. Oh, okay. Um, what about these uh, six uh, block, um, the members of... of uh, the um, O Block, you know, um, um, housing projects in Chicago. Wow. Um, so, 50 years to life. And the um, death of um, FBG Duck. Well, that was another thing. You see, um, like, everything is captured on film nowadays. You know, there's cameras everywhere. You know, there's cameras everywhere. And um, the whole so? murder was caught on case. It was caught on film. You know, they had these guys, right? They're standing inside of, like, a parking lot of their um, housing complex, right? So you see one guy pick up a phone and you see all of them running frantic. Like they're running to their cars. People are running out of the staircases. Everybody is just like, like it's like, um, is the world ending or what's going on? Like why is all of these people just running around? So the feds use all of the cameras and all of the satellites. You see, what a lot of people don't know nowadays is right, um, your, tele your cell phone has a GPS. <clears throat> right and if the it involves like a high profile case or something like that the feds or even the local police can get an electronic warrant now this electronic warrant that they use is like a title five or a title three or something like that right and they have to go through your cell phone your cell phone providers or even the local towers you know and they can actually track your gps like sync your gps pin it to signals and puts you in the area of the crime. So these same people who were seen on these videos running frantic and moving all around, they got in their cars, they're seen on all of the traffic lights racing to this crime, racing to where the crime took place at. Then out of nowhere, um, they just jump out broad daylight with machine guns and shoot this guy about 20 something times in broad daylight. Oh my and God. what is considered the Beverly Hills of Chicago. So you know this place has cameras on it. Like La Boulet. <laughs> yes. You're talking about um 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 the Gucci store, Hermes, high priced jewelry stores. Like this is where the tourists go. And all of this was caught on camera and um the way that it's looking like they have some um there was some informants on the case. All of that will come out later, I'm pretty sure. And um yeah, they got 50 years wow. based on testimony, cell phone, triangular ping, which is like GPS. And um it looks like it's over for them, but all of that happened. The person that stirred up that case in the beginning was King Vaughn. Um, King Vaughn had beef with this guy, FBG Duck. 
And um, he was seen on the video when he got his deal. He passed out $100,000 to the same five people, the same six people who are being charged for this murder. So that was how the feds swooped in. They said, oh, we got these people. They had an informant that said it was a paid contract. And then he's on camera giving out money. But, you know, he, he, he met his demise in Atlanta, I believe, um, with another rapper who he was beefing with by the name of Quando Rondo. I'm pretty sure everybody's already caught up with the um, Quando Rondo and King Vaughn case. Uh, which little Tim was, I think, charged, and I think he beat the murder um, for King Vaughn. And uh, so that is like a dead case right there. There's no witnesses. There's really only, like, informers, and they pretty much got a lot of um, physical evidence. Is that where they saw, like, Young Thug and YSL? Was that about the Rico case? Yes, Young Thug and YSL. Um, Young Thug is a very talented artist, you know. Um, when he first came out, I guess he kind of mirrored Lil Wayne. He's like the um, better version of Lil Wayne. And um, he just met his demise. He just met like he just met with his downfall because of you know a lot of these young kids nowadays. They believe that. Um, being attached to a gang um, solidifies them or gives them a spot in music. You know, um, me, when I was coming up in my era, we didn't come up in gangs. You know, there was drug crews. You know, there was blocks. There was, you know, people, people who grew up together, hung out together, and they formed crews. So a lot of these young artists now, you know, they're attached to gangs and that's their biggest failure because the first thing the police are going to say is that you're funding this organization, that you're the strength for the organization. You're the leader. You're the one with the money. You know, money controls a lot. You know, people listen to people with money, you know, and um, Young Thug, um, all of his crew pretty much folded on him. You know why? Because those are not his friends. Those are all industry niggas that he met in the industry. Everybody that told on him is is um musicians you know like these rappers these entertainers you know they get caught up with all of these new people that tag along their 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 so-called entourage you know they don't have nobody that was with them from the sandbox you know so and young thug's case is sad and it's very sad but even if he doesn't get found guilty and they're going to make him sit up for at least eight years. He's going to be fighting this case for at least five years, eight years. So they're going to get time and money out of him regardless. But um, Young Thug has a lot, a lot ahead of him. You know, everybody in the case has complied with the DA. People done copped out already. They done found major evidence. And it's just looking like Young Thug is kind of over. Well, nothing is free. Nothing is free. And maybe he did not comply or anything. They you know what they say? Everything away from him. You know what they say, right? You know they say lawyers can buy, f you know, a good lawyer can get you freedom. In this day and age, that's really not possible. You know, all of the... All of the, all of the exigent, all of the, all of the rules of exigent circumstances out the window. Everything is being recorded. Everything is, you know, they have to make an example of these people. You know, it's not the same as when we came up. You know, money can't get you out of a situation anymore. It's so much of it floating around the world. It's nothing. Money is really nothing in those type of situations. So, you know, I just wish Young Thug the best and. Um, you know, hey, wishing the best. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and in basketball, we have the superstar Anthony Edward, uh, that his uh, girlfriend got an abortion, and he had something to do with it. I mean, he gave her like a big incentive or something. 
Yeah, they said Anthony Edwards, um, he paid a girl or IG model or some girl that he met. $100,000. Yeah, $100,000. I heard about that. To get you an know, abortion. Um, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Basically, he cut his losses. You know, I guess that part, that might have been the most expensive pussy that he ever bought. Because... Um, $100,000 is very steep, but it's also a big headache. You know, he's a superstar, and I'm pretty sure the girl that he got with... You know, a lot of these artists um, get set up. You know, a lot of these artists are set up. You know, um, we, can name, we can name the list. Most of these celebrities are set up with girls from people who want to take from them. And what I mean by that is, right... If you're a celebrity, right? Um, you're in the spotlight. Anybody that accuses you or, or, or claims you did something, they're going to side with them nine times out of ten. And most celebrities don't want to go through with it, so they just pay out. But it's been happening since Mike Tyson. You know, Robin Givens. Um... The, girl, um, the wife that Mike Tyson had, they said that that was a planned, like a planned thing from Don King. Don King introduced Robin Givens to um, Mike Tyson. And then look what later happened. You know, um, with the Tupac case, um, Haitian Jack yeah. introduced the girl to Tupac. Tupac didn't know the girl. She came there with these guys. And look what happened. So it's like... A lot of these celebrities, it's sad to say, but they're horrible. You know, they never had women before they was these stars. You know, a lot of them was, look, he's a basketball kid, right? It's obvious, right? He was sheltered. He was, he was, he came from a good family. He wasn't really into too much. He played basketball. You know, that's 10,000 hours in order to become a professional. So he didn't really have a really, he didn't really have a lot of interaction with females, I believe. And it just so happens he went for the wrong girl because if I'm wrong, he should have already had a girl when he came in the NBA if he already been playing with bitches, you know? So when you see these stars, right, and they come in the industry and they get a girl, it's because they never had bitches.